welcome back to the channel and i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine this lab is just recently updated so here is a new solution for this lab so first of all just be logged into your credentials and once you're done with that in the description box of this video i will share on github link just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here now just me scroll down and from here just me open this link in incognito window this will activate your cloud shell now just me come back over here and from here you can see this curl command this will download this github repo from my github to your cloud shell then we have to make this file executable for that we have to just me run this here mod command and for executing this file we have to just run this last one so just me copy all this command come back paste hit enter wait for a second and then just me click on authorize now we have to do couple of tasks using a console because if we try to complete those tasks using a command line then we won't get a full score but don't worry those tasks are so very easy now just me come back over here and now here just me search for the dashboard like this way click over here now first of all we have to create a dashboard so just me click on this create dashboard over here like this way just me click okay now for the name come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number two scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this name so just me copy this do not copy this last full stop copy that come back over here and just me replace over here like this way click over here then just me click on this add widget and from here just me choose a line okay click over here now okay click on this matrix and now for the filter name just me scroll down over here and from here you can see cpu utilization so just me copy this come back and just simply search over here like this way okay click on this instance over here then click on this instance and from here you can see cpu utilization if you are not able to find this you can just simply turn on this activate button if you just click over here it will be turn off okay now click on this apply so it's done and then click on this apply button over here so it's done if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue if we just scroll down over here and click on the check my progress for the task number three here also you will get a score without any issue okay now task number five we have to create a group it's a very easy task first of all just me copy this type name called nginx copy that come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see groups click over here click on this create group okay now for the name you can give any name that you want like this way okay now for the value just me type the value which is just copy okay May now make sure that your configuration must look like this if it's so click on this done and then just me click on this create button over here so we have done with the task number four also if we just me scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now task number five also very easy scroll down a little bit first of all what you do we have to create a uptime check for that just me scroll up and from here you can see uptime check click over here click on this create uptime check now for the resource type make sure that you have to choose an instance over here that's it okay now for the applies to it must be group and from here just me choose a group which you just created okay make sure that your page must look like this if it's so click on this continue okay make sure that resource type by must be 10 second okay scroll down and click on this continue then click on this continue over here now for the title you can give any title that you want and then just me click on this create button over here so it's done now if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for the last task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just may wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys